Receiving Jesus Like a Child Hello friends, we have another reflection guide for you. This Sunday, we read from the Gospel written by Mark. People were bringing their little children to him to have him touch them, and the disciples rebuked them for this. When Jesus noticed it, he was very angry and said, Let the children come to me and don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he took the children in his arms and laying his hands on them, blessed them. What is Jesus telling us? This is one rare time when we see Jesus angry, when people prevent children from getting close to Jesus. That's how important children are to Jesus. Jesus, who is God made man, became a child and knows a child's yearning for acceptance. Symbolically, being a child is our greatest dignity because, more than any worldly role, we are, first of all, according to St. Paul in his letter to the Romans, children of God and heirs of his kingdom. Children therefore remind us of the dignity of our divine filiation, which nothing, not even death, can take away from us. In the eyes of God, we will always be his beloved children. And for Filipinos, being a child has a special meaning because 500 years ago, it was through the image of the child Jesus called Santo Nino those conversions started. But of course, the dignity of being children of God requires that we must live according to our dignity as God's children and accept its responsibility of choosing to love God more than anything else through constant prayers and loving others as our brothers and sisters in God by ready to help as Jesus would help them. Let us reflect. Do I go beyond bloodlines and treat my family more as a spiritual family headed by God the Father with Jesus as my brother? Let me pause to reflect. If you like your reflection guides, please like and subscribe and share to touch other families. See you next Sunday!